ABC 15 celebrating heroes as we honor a veteran laid to rest and remembered over the weekend and also how this community stepped in to help out. Yeah, and stepping up big. Let's bring in our Jordan Bonke. He's joining us now about the people who they didn't know this woman, right? But that didn't matter when it came to honoring her legacy. This is so Arizona, Jordan. It really, it really, really is. You know, the family of Navy medic Pamela Middlebrook, she was worried that the, the funeral wouldn't have enough people at it. There was only six people that were expected to be there. The family had posted some of their anxiety, some of their worries about 48 hours before this burial service on social media. Arizona stepped up, did the rest. Just the sight of these parked cars made Brittany rumoring emotional. I think I started crying before I got out of the car. <laughs> At the start of the weekend, Brittany was slated to lay her 69-year-old mother, Pamela Middlebrook, to rest here at the National Memorial Cemetery of Arizona. Pamela served during the tail end of the Vietnam War as a medic and ultimately gave 16 years of her life to our country, much of which was stationed at Luke Air Force Base, before recently losing her battle to cancer. Brittany says her mother cherished her time serving, but left a greater impression on her kids and grandkids. She loved these kids more than life, more than life itself, and I see a lot of her in my oldest. With roughly 48 hours until the service, Brittany said she started to worry that there wouldn't be enough people present to properly honor someone who gave so much to her and her family and the country. So she posted on social media, and by the time the ceremony came, with just six people expected to be there, about two dozen people helped honor Navy veteran Pamela Middlebrook, including Bill Wooster of the Patriot Guard Riders, Thank you. who never knew Pamela, but made sure to honor her. And whether they had one day of active duty or 20 years of active duty, they're all equally important to show our honor and respect to them and our gratitude as a nation. It made me happy, it kind of restored my faith in humanity that, you know, people can come together for people they don't even know just to honor their memory and their service. On a somber day, the spirit of Arizona left Brittany with a subtle smile as it all finished up. And Brittany's oldest son plans to live in his grandmother's footsteps. I will imagine she'll really kill me for joining the Navy ride in the Marines. <laughs> he can enlist as early as next year. She would be happy. But yeah, she'll overall be happy. Yeah, even though most people that were at that burial service didn't know Pam, the Patriot Guard Rider shared with me that's exactly what they do. They even said that later that day they went to Surprise so that they can show up in numbers for another fallen veteran over there. We put more information on the Patriot Guard Riders on this story on our website at abc15.com. They even came equipped, shared a few kind words through a poem. Reporting this morning, Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, this whole community coming together to celebrate this hero in such an honorable and distinguished way. Lots of happy tears there, Jordan. Thank you.